In Bootstrap, you have a whole set of margin and padding utilities available to you. Have a look on the docs, go to Utilities Spacing, and here you'll find this entire section. In short, it boils down to this. For margins, you have M dash and then zero through to five. So M dash one would set margin top left, bottom and right of whatever the space of value is times 0.25. The space of value by default is one rem, but you can adjust that if you have the ability to recompile your SAS. And whatever you have for margin, you have for padding as well. In addition to setting all four sides, you can either set top or bottom, and that would be using MY dash, and likewise for padding, that would be PY dash, and you can do both sides as well by setting the X version, so MX dash or PX dash. But I find that zero to five just isn't enough options. So how do we expand those options in a custom bootstrap theme? Well, let's have a look in our code editor. Now I've set up a boilerplate that I'm using for all of these how-to videos. There's a link on screen right now, and there's a link in the description too, if you'd like to follow along, or if you just wanna use a template for one of your own projects. Now this is an important point, because as I've mentioned, you need to be able to recompile your SAS. Let's first understand these spaces. I'm gonna open up Node Modules, then find the Bootstrap folder, then expand SCSS, and then find a file called underscore variables.scss. And then I'm gonna to go to roundabout line 375, and here's the spaces section. So this is the value they set by default. If you wanted to customize that, then you would override this in your variables override file. This is the important one for us though. They then set up what's called a SAS map, where we have our zero to five options. So back in the docs, where we see this zero to five, this is what drives that. Now I always like to see what these values actually are. And with SAS, you, there is an at debug function that you can run, but it's not very user friendly for a front end developer like myself. So here's a little trick I like to use when I'm working with Bootstrap and I wanna see the SAS map values. I'm gonna open up my main CSS file. So this is my main entry point, And in a real world project, I wouldn't actually write any CSS in it. But for this video, it's fine. Now the important thing to do here is to ensure that we write this code after we've imported bootstrap variables. Inside of my boilerplate, that happens around about line 21. So anywhere after line 21, you'll be fine. So what I like to do to visualize any SAS maps is I just piggyback off CSS variables. You may not know this, but using SAS interpolation, you can output your SAS map as individual CSS variables. And I'll show you how easy that is. So we'll start off with the usual root. And this is just scoping these CSS variables to the root element. And the root element, that's our HTML tag. And then we'll use the SAS each rule to iterate over our SAS map for spaces. So we'll go add each. Now because it's a SAS map, we have access to a key and a value. And I'll call the key spacer. And you can call this whatever you want. It's entirely up to you. And of course, we're looking for the spaces. So that name right there has to be exactly what that name is. And then we'll have our brackets. And inside of that brackets, we now have access to a spacer and a value for each of these entries on our variable. So now we'll just set up our CSS variable and we'll just call it theme spacer. And here's the part where we have to use SAS interpolation. We can't just do something like that. That won't work. So we have to do a hash and then curly brackets. And then inside of that, we have access to our SAS variable name. And again, we've got to use interpolation here. So just like that, and we've got our value. Don't forget your closing semicolon. That's it, that's all we have to do. Now, if we save that, and have a look on the front end. There you go. Scope to our root element, we now have the following CSS vars. So that now gives you a visualization of what you actually have access to. So M1 or P1 is gonna give you the value of 0 0.25. So now the next question is, how do we amend that? How do we give ourselves more options? In the themes that I build, I use zero through to 10. To do that, we have to use SAS map amends functionality. Now, once more, the important part here is how you set up your main CSS imports. So if you're using my boilerplate, then I've got that set up for you. 
If you're doing it yourself, be aware you first have to get bootstrap variables imported and then you run your map amends. So inside my boilerplate, inside of assets, SCSS, abstracts, I've got a map amends file. And this is how we add onto the spaces. First, we create a custom spaces SAS map. This name can be whatever you want. I tend to use the name of the SAS variable that I'm overriding and I'll add custom in front. So then I'm giving myself the extra options, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'm taking that space of value times three and a half or six, and all the way to 10, I'm taking it times seven. So this effectively is one rem times seven. So we'll have seven rem for our M-10 CSS utility. Now, once you've set up your custom spacer, you simply have to use map merge. Now map merge is not bootstrap functionality, it's SAS functionality. That takes in two SAS maps. The map you're looking to amend, and there's our spaces, so that's coming from Bootstrap, and then your custom values, and that's obviously coming from right over there. And first, you have to call it using the name of the SAS map you're looking to amend, so that's why you see spaces twice over there. Now be aware, we can only do this without importing any files at the top of this file, because in my main, I've used the old at import rule. For those of you that know SAS and are thinking, why is he not using at use? Bootstrap don't support it. So wherever I work with Bootstrap templates or themes, I tend to stick with the old at import method. Now what that means is once you've imported a file, any files that are imported after that on the same file have access to those variables. They're effectively available globally. All right, so if we save our changes now and we look at our CSS vars on the front end, there you go. Now we have all the way through from zero to 10. And of course, you can run with that as far as you want and create as many new spaces as you want. So what does this mean for you very quickly? Well, this now means inside of one of your HTML pages, you could do something like this. You can create a div, give it a container, BG primary, and where you previously only could do say P5, which is padding five, now we can do up to P10. And if I save that, there's our div on the front end. If I click into it, P-10, and that's the seven rem that I mentioned. And that's it. That is how you expand Bootstrap's spaces.